Hi, hello my dear students. Welcome to our channel Rajesh Biology and I am Rajesh MSC Zoology. Today our topic is Sarcomere Structure. Okay, so previously we completed that muscle structure and in that muscle structure what we discussed is like uh, all the muscle fibers. Muscle fibers are the structural units of the muscle and that muscle fibers all are together form bundle of muscle fibers this bundle is called fascicle such many fascicles together form one muscle this is what we discussed and in that also the muscle fiber has myofibril that myofibril or myofilament it is alternatively it has alternative light and dark bands this is what we completed so this is i'm going to take out this myofibril i'm taking out and i'm pasting here and i'm enlarged this okay once this myofibril which has alternate dark and light bands if i enlarge that that will be look like this this is the myofibril the myofibril mainly has a structure called sarcomere structure called what sarcomere very very important structure it is sarcomere is known as a functional unit or contractile unit functional or contractile unit of the muscle functional unit or contractile unit of the muscle it is called okay this is clear what is sarcomere means generally sarcomere has this type of structures like it is the just imagine as it is a actin i am already told you actin and myosin are alternatively present on myofibril so blue color line it is an actin for example okay and this red color line is myosin one actin one myosin it is actin it is what myosin myosin is also called thick band myosin is also called what thick band actin is also uh, thick filament myosin is called thick filament actin is called thin filament thin filament myosin is nothing but a dark band myosin is nothing but a dark band okay and actin forms a light band like this it is present continuously throughout the length of the muscle fiber for example muscle fiber length is 4 cm one muscle fiber length is 4 cm a myofibril also has 4 cm length okay now another one important thing first of all i will write these names actin actin is nothing but a thin filament it is what a thin filament myosin is a, a thick filament actin myosin both are arranged in a parallel manner alternate manner okay that's why it gives a striated appearance because one thin filament one thick filament thin filament and thick filament one thin and one thick like that filaments are arranged in a alternate manner okay we will discuss about the actin filament structure actin it has actin is nothing but it is called isotropic band the thin band is called what the thin band where the actin is present that is called isotropic band isotropic or i band why it is called isotropic band if we observe a skeletal muscle under a microscope, you know, microscope, how it works, for example, it is a microscope, okay, and there is a, um, here, there is a stage to keep the slide, okay, and it has uh, this type of structure, here there is a mirror, it is a mirror, you know why the mirror is present, to observe anything under microscope, we require light, that light is present, uh, that light is uh, reflected on this uh, mirror, and that uh, reflection is uh, uh, passed through this slide and that we can see here so when light passes through this slide electronic microscope not only the normal compound microscope when we observe under electronic microscope also the light should pass through this slide when light passes through this uh, 
the thin filament allow the light it allows the light we can see the thin filament because it allows the light that's why it is called isotropic band but thick filament because of its thickness the myosin never allow the light it allows very little amount of light or it uh, very less amount of light it allows that's why it is called an isotropic band it is called what an isotropic band so we can divide it as a like a i band isotropic band and a band and between two a bands there is a thin band the thin band the thin portion is called i band here it is the i band clear it is why i'm drawing all this at the top is because i'm going to draw here a detailed picture of the sarcomere that's why i'm using that upper portion so you can see here it is the i band where there is blue color where there is no red okay where there is no myosin that is only the i band once myosin is entered myosin is completely a band only okay myosin is completely a band but actin some portion is present in i band some portion is present in a band if you detailedly observe this diagram some portion of actin filament present in the i band the remaining portion is present in the a band okay so i band means isotropic band which allow the light a band means an isotropic band which absorbs the light that is myosin is this clear up to now now next another one important the a band in the middle of the a band there is a g line i'm going to draw here so we will observe that uh, uh, sarcomere structure in a clear manner previously we completed that muscle fiber and uh, this is the uh, uh, one myofibril one myofilament it is if i take this portion this portion if i take or this portion if i take to enlarge here there is a g line this is called dobie's line it is called what dobie's line but it is also easily we can known as it is a g line why because it gives a g type appearance a z type appearance z line it is okay either side of the z line there is a thin filament either side of the z line there is a thin filament this blue color lines are nothing but actins they are what actins i'll discuss the detailed structure of the actin also for the later and on this side also there is um, actin so actin is bind with what it bind with the g line you know g line is made up of actinin we will discuss that one later actinin is another protein that is different from the actin okay actinin has the ability to bind with the actin these are the two g lines in between these two actins there is a myosin myosin is a thick band like this it is thick band okay like uh, the actins bind with uh, one g line as like here it is also myosin bind with one m line this is a m line in the red color it is a myosin okay now clearly observe this there is a few lines are there two g lines one m line it is g line the portion between two g lines is called a sarcomere it is called what a sarcomere sarcomere is the structural unit sorry functional unit or contractile unit because contraction takes place here only the sliding filament theory we will discuss further later okay first understand the sarcomere structure any doubts here it is an actin myosin actin actins bind with the g line myosin bind with the m line clear up to now okay this actins are known as where there is a actin actually in a clear manner if we want to define where there is no myosin where there is no myosin that is called i band that is called what i band so in the middle of the i band there is a g line in the middle of the i band there is a g line 
from where to where the myosin is extend that is a band so in the middle of the a band there is a m line in the middle of the i band there is a g line in the middle of the a band there is a m line so sarcomere how it forms one half of the i band one side full a band and the remaining half of the i band two halves i band two halves and one full a band this is the sarcomere structure between two g lines in between two g lines this is the structure how it look like now if we observe carefully within the a band actin is also present actin is present in a band also but myosin is not present in the i band if it is present then that is called not called i band okay so actin is present in a band so a band has both actin sorry both actin and myosin actin and myosin actin and myosin but i band purely it has actin only g line is also there okay it is another important question also and another one within the a band why it is called a band why it is called i band what is the definition abbreviation of i band and e band that is we have to understand first when we are observed under the microscope the light passes through this the light passes through this that means what thin filaments allow the light thin filaments allow the light that's why it is called isotropic i means what isotropic band come to the a band it not allow it cannot allow the light through it it cannot allow the light through it that's why it is an isotropic band it is what an isotropic band because it not allow the light okay so that's why in what i'm saying if m line enters here if it is the m line is present up to here it not allow the light that's why up to here it is the a band an isotropic from here it is the isotropic clear the concept the basic concept which allow the light which passes the light through it that is the i band which not passes the light through it that is the a band clear this is the sarcomere structure and not only that in between it is a band in a band also light is can pass in a little manner here because here only myosin is there but in this portion actin myosin actin myosin actin myosin three extra bands are also there so it is even more thick even though it is a thick band a band is nothing but thick band in thick band also even more thick portion is there that is the overlapping portion it is what overlapping portion actin myosin are overlapped non overlapping portion is there where there is no actin only where there is no actin only myosin is present the non overlapping zone of the a band or thin portion of thick band is called h zone what it is called h zone thin portion of thick band here it is very thick in your textbook also maybe you may observe the diagram it is very thick like this it is very thick in thick portion also in thick band also there is a light portion there is a light portion the light portion of the dark band is called h zone okay this is sarcomere structure 